Today's video is Make Tough Can You Spot the Fake? Questions and Answers. I got asked the question yesterday, how can I tell if they're a fake or if they're real? Well, a genuine woman has feminine traits. But sadly nowadays, so do the fake woman. They also have feminine traits. But there's a difference in the femininity. <laughs> a woman who takes a selfie is a piece of garbage, shallow, low-life crap. You know, a genuine woman with femininity could wake up in the morning next to you, have little to no clothing on, have her hair all disarrayed, and her breath smell like shit. But if you took a photo of her, she would look absolutely gorgeous. A feminine woman has a soul, a spirit, and she's connected to the earth. She's connected to love. She's connected to caring. She's connected to not wanting to hurt anything. She is the woman that doesn't want to harm anyone. She is a genuine woman. You see, a woman does have a genuine thing about her. They're motherly, they're caring, they're kind, they're sweet, they're giving, they're loyal, they're dedicated. The fake woman is none of those. No loyalty, no respect, no caring, no kindness, no love. None of that. A genuine woman, like I said, with the pictures too. You can take a picture of her at any time and she'll look beautiful. A false woman, a false woman of false femininity. Has to strike a pose, put on makeup up, and it never looks good when you take a random snapshot of her. She looks hyper, she looks tired, she looks hysterical. There's always something wrong with the photo. <laughs> Photos never lie. You see, there is such thing as a genuine woman. That is a woman that cares for her family, who puts her husband before her own self and puts her children before her own self, who would die protecting her loved ones. You don't see that no more in women today. All you see is the shallow, narcissistic traits of the average female nowadays. I've even made videos called such as Feminism and the Golden Pearl. If men go around hating all women and labeling them all Nawalt or Awalt, well, you're kind of setting yourself up there to never even have a female friend. And I can understand you don't even want a female friend because they're completely nuts. But not all women are nuts. Not all of them. There are a few out there. There are a couple left. And those women, they should be actually protected by men. You see, chivalry actually makes sense, folks, when females are submissive to men. When they are genuinely female and feminine. Not this new age bullshit that killed off chivalry. There used to be a time that a woman was delicate, frail, needing a man to protect her, keeping her safe, and producing children for the family. Men used to love those kind of women. Those women used to make our heads spin. It was all, yes ma'am, no ma'am, sorry ma'am if I offended you ma'am. But now we're taking those same traits and we're bringing it off to the new feminine. With the shallow piece of the shit out there. Now we're saying, I'm sorry I offended you Mrs. Shallow Piece of Shit. Come on, guys, you must know the difference between regular feminism and, I mean, sorry, regular feminine and this false state of feminine. Come on, it's not that hard to see. If the woman is kind, caring, and loving, then she's a good woman. If she's a, a nasty, evil, self-centered bitch, then she's not, then she's an evil woman. No femininity there. Femininity is everything that God gave a woman. Love, caring, compassion, passion, love, respect. Caring, kindness, loyalty, devotion, wanting to be a mother. These are all things of a good woman. <laughs> and you know what's really funny out to their guys? Which I really think is quite hilarious. Women know other women better than men know women. If you are dating a woman and you bring her off to one of your friends and your friend says, no, she's not right for you, get rid of her. Your friend, your female friend knows what she's talking about. We see beauty. If we date a woman, no matter if she's a shallow piece of crap or a beautiful, uh, uh, very deep woman, we really don't care. We're actually looking for other traits. It is our female friends that will tell us if she's good for us or not. And a lot of men don't listen to, our, to the female friends out there. But you should. Because they actually can see what you cannot see. Women are very good at spotting the bitch. They are very good at finding out who is the bitch and who is not. And men, you shouldn't waste that opportunity. You should, never, you should always get a girlfriend. If you want to get a girlfriend, do it like this. Get a girlfriend, go meet up with a friend you used to know who's female, and let this woman judge the shit out of your new girlfriend. 
and then she says okay, then go for it. If she says not okay, then leave the bitch right away. Because women know exactly what other women are like. And they can tell if, if they belong with you or not. That's a special gift that females have that men do not have. We are too busy with lust and, oh, look at her blonde hair, how beautiful she looks. Other women look at her and go, this woman's not right for you, dude. I had a big, long argument yesterday about the promiscuity of females. And the same old argument of why it's okay for men to have sex and it's accepted when they cheat on their women compared to when women have a lot of sex and they're called whores and sluts. Well, I went off in a long argument yesterday with the female and I spoke for about a good two hours and I came to a great conclusion, which all fell back down to the fact that women used to cover themselves up when they walked on the street and how it reduced the seduction out there in the world that men weren't becoming horny apes. It is quite true when a man is extremely horny by a turn down by a woman that he doesn't think with his brain, he ends up thinking with his dick. So if all women go out there today dressing in low-cut cleavage, acting like a slut, and also opening her legs up without no, um, need, like, no, uh, what we just basically say, contract with another man that he would take care of her, if she's having sex with everybody on a one-night stand, then they, she's actually creating the problem. You see, if men do think with their dicks, then how dare women go out and get breast implants, bleach blonde their hair, and act like little Barbie dolls, and become these attractive uh, temptresses to men? That would mean that they're actually manipulating men by using men's dicks against them. So I went off explaining that and during the times of the Bible, where women were covered up from head to toe, divorce rate was pretty much down to zero. It was pretty much even unheard of to get divorced from a woman. And women and men lived happy, productive lives. They had many children together. But the thing was, the females always covered themselves up. So by covering herself up, she's no longer on the market, she can no longer be tempted by other men, and she's loyal to her first man. But if you want to go out today and wearing skin-tight jeans and cleavers hanging out and all that shit, then you're pretty much asking for what you're going to get. And I'm telling you guys, all those women today that walk out there in these slutty, skanky clothing that look like she'd be, she'd become a streetwalker, she really has no substance whatsoever. Be careful for the woman that has no substance. If she's out for a good time, stay away from her. It's up to you men out there who you're going to pick as your partner for life. Now, sure, you can easily go out and fuck these little narcissistic chicks. You can fuck them all. Fuck them all in one night if you want to. They're easy to get, easy to keep. But hard to keep in the long term, but easy to keep for them one night. So if you want to have a woman where you can just go out and abuse, go get it. But you're never going to find decent women that way, because what you're actually doing is you're promoting the bad woman. I said it before, women are influenced by men. If all men want is the bad woman, that's all men are going to find is bad women. That's all women that's going to be produced. That's how feminism came in in the first place. We didn't want women anymore for marriage, for children and family life. We wanted the one-night stands. So feminism literally created the one-night stand for men. And the one-night stand for men is total destruction for females. Men by nature can go out and sleep with 20, 30 different women and have no emotional attachment to them whatsoever. And feminism actually created that world for us. But females, they need to have intimacy, don't they? They need to have caring, caressing, kindness, love all around them to actually have sex with a man. Even men even trick women into having sex that way. Yeah, baby, I'll love you forever. Yeah, you're my woman, I love you. You guys bullshit women into bed. But that same bullshit is exactly what the feminist world has created for us to allow us to be that way. You even got pickup artists today who actually encourage this behavior, never understanding that females are influenced by men. So if you want this kind of woman, you will have this kind of woman. That is the true beauty of females, that they are influenced by men. It's up to the men to correct the females, to change the females, and to bring back the females to the standards that we want them to have and want them to be. This is War Drums Fire. Take care of yourself today. See you all later. Bye.